What's going on guys? So look, have you ever had the thought of traveling back in time to your younger self with the knowledge that you have now? My guess is you'd probably do a few things differently if you could. I'd say that just about everybody has thought about that at least at some point and a lot of us would do things differently if we had another shot at it. So today, I wanted to talk about a few things that I wish I knew better and paid more attention to in my 30s and also offer some general advice. So if you're in your 30s and you stumbled across this video, please stick around. All right, welcome back. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. Okay, so let's jump right in because your 30s are a very important decade and in a lot of ways, your 30s are your defining decade. So here's some numbers for you. In 2019, there were approximately 328 million people in the United States and over 13% of those people, over 43 million, are in their 30s. Now listen closely, studies have shown that 80% of defining moments in your life happen by the age of 35. This is essentially meaning that 80% of the decisions you make that define your life happen in your 30s. Now, that seems like a lot of pressure, but look, the first thing is do not be defined by what you didn't do, what you didn't know, or what didn't work. If you try something and it fails, or if something in your life fails, that failed. That's all. You're not a failure because of it. Please let that sink in. The time to decide your life's path is right now because you have the energy and you have some time. Your brain also starts to rewire itself from childhood in your 30s, making it a lot more difficult to change something about yourself. That's why older people are so resistant to change and don't adapt to new things or new ideas as quickly like technology, for example. Next is bad habits like smoking. Guys, if you smoke, you need to stop and you know it. When you're young and healthy, you think you're invincible and that you'll quit one day, but one day ends up being 25 years later when you're dying of lung cancer. Guys, I smoked in my late teens and early 20s, but I am so glad that I stopped. Remember what I said earlier about going back in time and changing things about yourself? I'm pretty sure that if you could, you'd tell your younger self to stop being self-destructive. Next is one that I would definitely go back and change, but even at 51 years old, it's still not too late. And that's make a habit of taking care of yourself. Learn to eat right, exercise, and make that a priority. You only have one body and it has to carry you through your entire life. Treat it well and it'll treat you well. This also goes hand in hand with taking care of your skin, fighting off wrinkles and sun damage for as long as possible. Personally, I've been using the Tiege Hanley skincare products for about three years now. I'm so committed to it that even though I could probably get a few boxes for free, I choose to spend my own money on it every single month, just like everybody else. I might try some other stuff from time to time because companies will send me stuff. But for me, and this is no joke, I always come back to Tiege Hanley. Now, Tiege is sponsoring this video and I'm happy to talk about them because it's what I use on a daily basis. It's just like what they say, it's uncomplicated skincare. You get the items you need, they tell you what to use, how much to use and when to use it. There's no thinking or analyzing, it's just doing. And it's simple and it works for me. They use a mixture of natural, high quality and effective vegetable derived ingredients like eucalyptus, rosemary, alba bark, grape seed, and green tea, along with synthetic raw materials. It has high amounts of antioxidants to counter wrinkles and also enhance collagen replacement to firm up your skin. Guys, everything is made together and also tested together, but not on animals, to ensure that one product doesn't have some weird reaction to another product. Now, this is something that you can't necessarily be sure of when you're sourcing different skincare products on your own from the drugstore. So listen, if you don't know where to start, I recommend starting with the level one system because it gives you all the basics, a face wash, an exfoliating scrub, and also AM and PM moisturizers for only 25 bucks. You have total control over what you get. You're not locked into anything. You have the ability to switch between different systems. You can skip your next delivery, control your exact renewal date. You can change your delivery frequency and also add new products whenever you want. And here's something else that's very cool. Once you reach 12 boxes, 
you can receive 10% off of everything for life. Guys, if you wanna get started with skincare, because after all, it is not too late, T Channel is hooking up my viewers with a great offer. Just use that special link that I'll drop down below in the description. Okay, the next item is working on your relationships and your marriages. Now, more than half the population in the US are either married, dating, or living with their future spouse by their early 30s. I heard something once that dating in your 20s is sort of like musical chairs. Once you hit your mid 30s, the music stops and everybody finds a chair and starts sitting down. There's a lot of pressure in your 30s that you need to have a good job and a good marriage, but don't make the mistake of marrying the closest chair to you just because the music stopped. Guys, work on your relationship and your marriage before you're in one by working on yourself because you're responsible for your own happiness, not anybody else. This brings us to your friends. Now, try to break out of your closest circle of friends and expand your circle just a little bit. Having close friends is terrific, don't get me wrong, but similar minds limit what they know, who they know, how they speak, where they work, and what they think. Guys, think about it. Opportunity usually always comes from outside of our immediate circle. Try new things, and if you're able to, visit new places. Network as much as possible because that's how you meet new people with new opportunities to offer. The more people that know you're alive, the better. Okay, this next one, I would definitely go back and change, and that's learning how to cook. Take this one seriously. Now, I'm not saying that you need to be a fancy chef, but learning how to cook more than just a few simple dishes allows you to take care of yourself and be more self-sufficient, especially when nobody else is around. It's also very impressive to the ladies, trust me. Next, learn to make a budget and stick to it. Know what you've got coming in and what's going out. Learn how to manage your finances and don't fall into those traps that if you buy that newest thing, that thing will make you happy because it won't. Make a habit of saving part of your income every time you get paid. There's a ton of phone apps out there that can help you with this that tie into your bank account so it comes right off the top and you never see it. Before too long, you'll see a good size savings in there. This is more important now than ever, especially with everything that's going on right now. Guys, think about it. There are so many people who are losing jobs right now and really struggling to pay their bills. Getting in the habit of saving money can literally save your life. Next up guys, surround yourself with positive people. Be conscious of who you're spending your time with because you've probably heard this before, but you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. Also, stop trying to please everyone. This includes your siblings and your parents. Outside validation is great, but you're the only one who can truly validate yourself, not anybody else. The sooner you wrap your head around that and live by it, the better off you'll be. Next is be more organized. Now, I don't necessarily mean obsessively organized, but you should be at a point in life by your 30s where you're picking up after yourself. Make your bed every day. Don't leave your clothes all over the place like you did when you were a kid. And if you start something, finish it. Don't rely on anyone else to come in behind you and finish what you started. Appreciate the small stuff. Appreciate what you have because you never know when that might be gone. This could be your job, your money, your possessions, and even the people in your life that are closest to you. Sometimes tomorrow doesn't come. Life can change in an instant, so be appreciative and show appreciation for what you have and who you have while you still have them. Last but not least is think about where you want to be in the next 10 or 20 years and make sure your behavior is mapping that. Now, plans can change and that's okay, but it's important to have something that you're working towards. Now, it might seem a little odd, but it does make sense in your 30s to be mindful of your 40s and 50s and where you want to be when you get there. 20 years seems like a long ways away, but trust me, it goes by pretty damn quick. One last thing, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please consider doing that right now because the entire premise behind this channel is to prove that it's never too late and you're never too old to make a change in your life or start something new. Guys, I encourage you to click that link down in the description and jump on your first order of Teach Hanley. You'll be glad you did. Guys, I'll see you in a few days for a brand new video, but until then, live well, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon.